Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning. What's going on, people? It's your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm back with a really, really sad and shocking story today. I haven't done news related stuff for a while, as you guys know, I was trying to switch my content up to my older style videos, but I came across this one the other day and I just thought to myself, what's wrong with people? What's actually wrong with the generation, the youngest generation right now? People are truly losing their heads. People are so desensitized to death and crime and all these different things that this, that people just, their, their integrity, kids these days, yeah, their integrity, morals are gone. And when I come across people like this, yeah, I come across kids like this, there's only two people I'm looking at here and it's the parents. The parents of the children that did this, yeah, you failed. You failed at raising kids. You failed yourself at life. I don't want to hear about all these other factors. You are shocking, terrible parents if you raise kids that are capable of this. If my kid ever did this, yeah? Oh my God. The retribution I'd be inflicting. I, pff, he ain't my kid. Oh, she ain't my kid. But yeah, let me crack on with this video because I have to talk about this because there's, um, there's a GoFundMe page in the description below that I need to talk about as well and I, I want to support and spread awareness for the for the poor child that this happened to so like the video for me hit the bell to be notified for me smash that subscribe button for me and if you want to support your boys merchandise please hit the description below since winter's coming and you and I know you want them you feel me jumpers with a TJ logo on it come on now anyway I just want to read briefly a story right I'm just going to read an article very short article and then I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions afterwards so as you can see on your screens it says bullies throw dog poo and rocks at grave of girl 12 who killed herself after rape. A mum has revealed her heartbreak after heartless, disgusting, vile people trashed the grave of her dead daughter. Samina Halliwell 12 died on June 12 after taking her own life because she was raped and cruelly bullied. Her mum Rachel from Southport in Merseyside feared in July that bullies would gate crash her daughter's funeral. But a family friend discovered on Tuesday that Samina's grave had been uh, completely desecrated. Rachel said it was covered in bricks and rocks and there was dog mess all over it. It was clearly done on purpose. Heartless, disgusting, vile people. There was no words to describe those evil people that could do this to a 12 year old girl's grave. A screenshot from social media in recent days appears to show someone offering money to anyone who would trash Samina's grave and film it. Previous screenshots from Snapchat at around the time of the funeral also seem to show people making fun of Samina's death and even threatening to trash her grave. It says, Rachel has spoken out on multiple occasions over the summer about her daughter's ordeal. She said Samina, who went to Stanley High School, was left traumatized by what happened. It was reported in March that a 12 year old was raped at an address in Southport on February 25th. An investigation was launched and Samina was bullied both online and in person about her ordeal. After having her innocence taken, Samina was bullied online on a daily basis, Rachel said. She couldn't take it anymore. Her mum shared videos on social media which appeared to show Samina being hit kicked and dragged to the floor around a month after the alleged rape. Rachel said she wants people to see the footage, adding, I want the whole country to see what my daughter went through and I will not stop until I get justice for my baby. She is now crowdfunding to set up a charity to help raise awareness of online grooming and bullying. Now this story is truly tragic and fucking disgusting. What is wrong with you kids? What is wrong with you? It, I, I can't wrap my head around the lack of just the straight heartlessness of it. At 12 years old, yeah, 13 years old, I don't really remember people having the, 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 the kind of heartlessness to not only laugh and bully someone who gets raped, right? You then desecrate that person's grave after said person has taken their own life due to them being raped. This poor girl, I cannot. This poor girl, this poor family, Samina, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm truly, truly devastated and heartbroken for you and your family that you had to go through something like that and that you weren't supported by your fellow peers. Your peers found no empathy, found no sympathy. They couldn't, in fact, all they found when they saw you was a reason to bully you more. How can the mum, yeah, deep it, the mum had fears, yeah, at the time when the funeral was going on that it could get gate crashed and and targeted by kids. What? That goes to show you yeah, that these, that her daughter had been bullied relentlessly, so much so that the mum was aware of it, so much so that she even feared that her own daughter's funeral get targeted. 
you disgust me. You truly, truly disgust me and karma. The thing is with me, yeah, two wrongs don't make a right, but karma's real. And if it so happens that these youths get a taste of their own medicine and something crazy happens to them, then who can feel sorry for them? Who? Now, I'm not sitting here wishing that, that uh, these bullies that might be 12, 13, 14 get raped themselves or get targeted. I'm not wishing that on anyone. I wouldn't. I'm not that cruel and I'm not that nasty. Yeah? But if the world and the universe decides to teach those people a lesson and something crazy happens to them, who's going to feel sorry for them? Because <laughs> I ain't. I'm not going to feel sorry for them. Yeah, while, while, I'm not, while I might not want it to happen to them, I'm not going to feel sorry for them. They created an environment in which a girl who had suffered extreme trauma felt the need to kill herself because she couldn't face it no more. That's the environment these fucking dickhead bullies, yeah, created for this girl. <laughs> wow. Wow. This generation disgusts me. You pair, the parents of these kids, you disgust me. Because the parents are going to know who they... they they're going to know. They're going to know. They're going to know what their kids did. Because they might, they, they might not chat to their kids about it, but they're going to know. They're going to know the school. They're going to know what happened. They're going to know rumours. They're going to know. The parents are going to know. And you are truly disgusting for raising kids that are capable of that. If I found out my child was part of that group, I know a lot of parents don't believe in discipline no more. I will fuck my child up. Seriously. If I, if I ever caught my kid bullying some girl that went through that so much so that she took her own life, I will beat the shit out of him. I don't give a fuck. And you're going to learn your lesson. Oh my God. I, I can't believe, I can't believe kids are doing this. Kids are, are, kids are having these warped mentalities that they can laugh at something so cruel. Watch when life, watch when life teaches you lessons. Because I learned a lot of lessons before, I, while I was still a child. I learned a lot of life lessons very young. I saw a lot of evil pretty early. More than, more than I care to speak about. So listen, life can come at you fast, believe that. Anyway, um, yeah, I had to speak on this video because I have to spread awareness on this. I have to spread awareness in honour of Samina. I have to spread awareness in honour of her family. But yeah, man, that's all I've got to say on this. Let me know your thoughts below. Like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you at the next video. Peace.